Hello. Good afternoon. It is just gone quarter to five on Wednesday the 23rd of October. So I'm in my finest, in my uniform. Um, I've not been a very good day today. Do you ever think that you've done something find out you haven't? Apologise if you can hear the dishwasher, but I swore blind that I'd put it on, but I hadn't. I just put the dishwasher tablet in and walked away. It's been a bit like that today. Um, made a soup. We've um, I've been doing a few jobs today to sort of catch up and tidy up as we're going away. One of the jobs was to like go through the fridges, empty like the fridges and everything, um, check what needed to use it up and wipe it all out. And um, we'll give it a good deep clean the other week so it's not due for another couple of weeks. So I had um, a whole celery in there. I had, sorry, waving this about, I'll put it down. <laughs> Two peppers and a couple of trays of tomatoes. We've got some like the salad tomatoes, but we'll keep those in case we have a sandwich before we go. Um, what else did I have? Peppers. Peppers, celery, tomatoes, I'm sure there was something else. So we put this, oh, um, a squash, that's it, because that was in the oven's fridge. Um, and roasted those in the oven and then um, made a pint of stock, we cheated pint of stock, and then um, just liquidised it down and then added some um, salt and pepper and the seasoning and things a little bit of mixed herbs. I officiated it all and I was really proud that I made this soup and I could show you, like share it, share it with you. Yeah, I forgot to um, press the record button. So it's here. Let's not try not to um, tip it all over myself. So that's going to go on the arga and that's going to just heat through. It's been on there, so I'll just put it back. That's all that done. So, um, Bowls are out to warm and plates are out to warm. So we have got uh, Mr. Jack's homemade bread rolls with sesame seeds on. Yeah. So I'm just going to find out if he wants his rolls in the oven. He quite likes a, a, a hot roll. I think I might have mine toasted. And then I'll come and show you managed to give myself an hour to do a little bit of um, crafting today and also this morning I gave myself an extra hour so uh, I'll show you my progress. I'm sorry if that dishwasher's too too loud but please bear with me, bear with me. Um, I worked on Mr Jax's sock and I must admit I'm a bit addicted. did some editing this morning so I had two videos, I thought I only had one. Um, so I'm, yeah, hurtling along on the foot. Look at this. Doesn't this look like a sock your granddad would have worn? Oh, word. Just in case you're new and you've popped in here, um, it is the West Yorkshire Spinners Colourway. Um, and this year it's Brenda. They bring out a different um, sock yarn every year. I don't think they did it last year. That was the first year. I don't know. If that, I don't know what the reason was, but that's what it looks like in the ball. And then this is just how it knits up. Oh my word! Isn't that lovely? And there is something about a stripy sock. And I was watching somebody the other day. I don't know who it was. I think it might be somebody I didn't know. I hadn't seen before and they were saying exactly the same thing that stripy socks they just seem to um, knit themselves yeah they just knit quicker I mean, obviously they don't but whether it's that excitement of the colour change um, I just finished editing um, the trip to Black Sheep Walls yesterday where I'm at, up with um, my friend Jeanette and she sort of when I go it's, it's very similar every time so I try to do a bit different do something a bit different. Um, I asked her for some advice for um, on my crochet and I've not got the book because I was it's in my office. So I'm making this Rikarami doll and she was a queen of Rikarami like crochet. This is my first attempt 
and it's way too big. But she gave me some really good advice yesterday. This was the second attempt. Um, it was inside out to start with. And I think the, yeah, inside out to start with. The wrong hook size, because in, was it July? I was making some uh, birthday presents for Fred. So I'd made him an astronaut because he's space mad. Um, I think I used the same hook and I think it was a 3 or 3.5. I'll have to check the book. That's my second attempt. So I was all like full of it last night. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and I do think what she said about stuffing it is probably the best thing, but <laughs> that makes it even worse. Um, but I think there's a stitch count wrong in the book, like misprint. And I think I've worked it out. So I was a bit disheartened yesterday, even though when I picked it up this afternoon and I've read it, I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm actually quite proud of myself that with that bit of experience, I can read the pattern and I've twigged that there's something wrong. <laughs> it's just me. So I need to take this, uh, take this back. Right, I was just in the middle of filming and talking to you. Um, my youngest daughter called make arrangements for tomorrow um, where to pick Bonnie up. So it's chop church tomorrow. So um, she'll bring Bonnie and have a cup of tea with us, which would be really nice. So Mr. Jackson, <laughs> he's just dished my dinner up and I'm not quite ready, but it's fine. I have to eat. What time is it? Five past five, of course, five to five. So I do need to scoff this before I go. Um, I have to, yeah, have this because I don't get into nine o'clock and it's too late for me. So, but I have this and then I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to talk to you about the rest of my projects. I might have to wait till later. But yeah, I'll turn you around so you can see what I've, what delights I've got. Oh, look at this. So this is the soup yeah, I made today. It smells amazing, tastes lovely. And this is the homemade rolls that Mr. Jack's made. They're toasted and got French butter on. He's a bit of a connoisseur with, um, sorry, a bit of a connoisseur with regards to his butter and jam so occasionally he treats himself we just have normal Audi butter but he's um yes yeah, been hoarding this so i've got a treat right just about to go out the door don't let me forget my lipstick scoff my soup and my bread roll my word it was delicious there's something so lovely about something so simple so yeah, uh, roasted vegetable soup, full vegetable, celery, peppers, tomatoes, and what's that thing? Um, squash, <laughs> roasted squash. Now, <laughs> Mr. Jack has not had his. He's waiting. He's not quite hungry. And da -da 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 -da, I have put the glasses. I think I put full. Three pistachio, right? Okay, and order. So, I put Palma Violet, I don't know if it show up. Palma Violet is there, and then Clematis, and then Cream. So it's very, very small, beautiful um, border, and it's literally um, the same stitch. It's like a double crochet, UK term, single crochet, and then one more stitch, and then miss a, miss a stitch, and then go into the next stitch, and just do that all the way along. And then it's two double crochets, two chains, yeah, let me start game. Double crochet, single chain, miss a stitch, double crochet, single chain, go all the way along until you get to a corner, and then it's two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. That's in English terms, and in American it is single crochet, single crochet, chain, miss a stitch, go into the next stitch, single crochet, chain. So at the corners it'll be single crochet, single crochet, two chains, and then two single crochets, miss a space, and then start going. Yay. 
So I've got round four, which is exactly the same. And this is pistachio. Oh, we had um, pistachio ice cream last night with our dessert. Mr. Jack's taught me into having a dessert. I wasn't going to have a dessert, but he wanted one. So we ordered a um, bake hall tart, but it came and instead of, it's normally like um, glacé icing on the top. For anybody that isn't English, if you didn't know, it's like a pastry base, then it's like an almond with jam, and then an almond sponge, and then like a glacé icing top with like a, it looks like chocolate, but I don't think it is, a cross, and like, yeah, you sort of go like that with your fork, I don't know. <laughs> but it was, um, Fondant icing rolled out that's a bit, yeah, a bit much for me. So that was that. Right. And then I said I was watching um, Paula from Stitch by Mrs. D and she was um, did a week long um, keep a company at work video. And I've never seen her do anything like that before. And she gets the most amazing finds. I think she sort of bids on, is it charity auctions? And I don't know whether it's Etsy, but she'd managed to get hold of this quilt top that um, somebody had made. I'm not sure whether it was finished or not, but um, yeah, it was beautiful, like the hexagons, absolutely beautiful they were. But, and she found it so fascinating um, because it was stuffed with the back of it stuffed with like she thinks like envelopes and she, she said that it was envelopes because she'd seen like bits of um a dress on there and the glue from the envelope and whoever had made it made a marvelous job and had used all this um red cotton which she's still finding now um like to tack them and then the minutest stitches by hand so i think it took her three or four days sort of to unpick everything um and then she's made this most glorious bags i'm sure they will have gone but it got me to thinking. Um, I'm thinking about projects I'd like to take away. We are going to do a lot of um, comfort while we're away. We're going to go out for a couple of days, I think, but we're going to spend some time just, yeah, just being warm and snuggly. So I want to take some knitting and some crochet. <laughs> we're going to need a roof rack. I've got this in. Duh. Oh my word. And it's all lilac and greys. My favourite one is this mouse. Can you see on the harvest? My corn. The mine's backed with, I think just, oh, that might actually be, yeah, some paper from a magazine. I think I must have started this about, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. And the idea was to um, make it to go on my bed. Um, and I didn't like when you have the the EPP rounds, the flower rounds. And I was just going to sort of do like a bit of a spiral. I'd got all my fabric. I've got some prepared. I'll have to find where they are. And I was just going to continually just sort of go around and keep repeating the fabric. But that kind of didn't work because I'm not a mathematician. Um, <laughs> so I stopped doing it. So I think what I'm going to do is, and I've numbered them all. You can see that I've numbered them. Oh, I see. Well, yes, yeah, that, that's number one. Number one, number two, I think. I don't know if it perhaps show up on camera. So I'm wondering whether to unpick it. It's been hanging on a frame. So I don't know, but it's out. It's out and it's breathing. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? You got a project that you've just put down and forgotten. It's behind a chair on a frame. So I don't know what to do, but it's out and I'm thinking about it. So I must be in the mood to you make something for our bed. Yeah, see how dusty it is. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. So I'll say good night now. It's oh my word, it's half past five, right? I'm late by five minutes already.
<laughs> so I'm going to say good night to you and I am going to what am I going to do um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. It won't be until nine o'clock. It's be way too late for me to come on and talk to you. So I hope you have a super Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And it's um, Granny Baby Day. Uh, tomorrow, crush day. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Bye.